Adding RAM to Minecraft 1.19.3. Here's how to do it, but first, how much RAM do you need? Well, it kind of depends on the version of Minecraft that you're playing. And what I mean by that is not like 1.19.3 versus 1.18.2. What I mean is modded versus not modded. For vanilla Minecraft, two gigabytes is actually sufficient most of the time. If you're running things really, really high on settings, like, you know, render distance and things like that, you might want to bump that up to four gigabytes, but that is usually overkill. Two gigabytes is usually all you need for vanilla Minecraft. For shaders and under 50 Minecraft mods, that's when I would recommend boosting it up to about 4 gigabytes of RAM. That's usually going to be enough to handle up to about 50 mods and be able to handle shaders without a problem. What if you go more than that though? Well, 50 to 150 mods, somewhere in that range, you know, around 100 mods or so, you're usually okay with 6 gigabytes of RAM dedicated to Minecraft. And once you go over that 150 mod range, bumping it up to 8 gigabytes is a safe thing to do. And not safe necessarily, but recommended thing to do. Of course, every mod pack is different. Some are better optimized than others, and I have seen mod packs that can actually run on 4 gigabytes of RAM with 200 mods. Those are usually super optimized for performance, though, and I also have a pretty good CPU, which Minecraft will rely on when the RAM is running low. So keep all of those things in mind. These are just general rules of thumb. 2 gigabytes for vanilla Minecraft is the biggest thing, and you kind of work your way up with mods over time. Nevertheless, though, you will need to check and see how much RAM your computer has in order to be able to add enough RAM to Minecraft. Before we do that, though, have another smart sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown, .xyz slash Apex, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We actually love just Apex so much, we host every single Minecraft server we have on Apex Minecraft Hosting. So if you want a Minecraft server with one-click mods pack installation, amazing performance on amazing high-end hardware, and, of course, 24-hour, 7-day-a-week support, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting at the first link down below the breakdown, .xyz. XYZ slash Apex. Now, before we add RAM to Minecraft here, we should probably see how much RAM your computer has. That's important because you should never have more than 50% of the amount of RAM your computer has to Minecraft. So let's go ahead and click the little Windows icon to the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom of your screen, or if you're on Windows 11, this will work. And the Windows icon is going to be in the bottom center. Now, once you click on that, type in System Information. Open up the System Information app here. And in here, you want to look for your memory, specifically your installed physical memory here, is how much RAM, as you can see, your computer has. I have 64 gigabytes of RAM, meaning in theory, I could add 32 gigabytes of RAM to Minecraft. That is insane. You never need to do that. However, let's say you had 8 gigabytes of RAM. Well, in that case, you would only add 4 gigabytes to Minecraft at its peak. If you had 16, only ever add 8. If you have 32, don't add more than 16. By the way, I've never seen Minecraft need more than 10 gigabytes of RAM, so keep that in mind as well. But nevertheless, never add more than half of what is shown here and install physical memory to Minecraft. Finally, though, let's open up the Minecraft launcher. And in the Minecraft launcher, you want to click on installations up here at the top. Now, here you'll see all of your Minecraft installations. These could be modded. These could be vanilla. These could be anything. And with that, every installation has its own RAM setting. So setting your RAM in latest release is going to do nothing for your latest snapshot. It's going to do nothing for your modded installations. So you will need to set these for all of the installations specifically, which is both good and bad because you don't need 8 gigabytes of RAM in vanilla Minecraft. So no reason to set that. But let's say you have a mod pack installed as well with tons of mods in it 200 well you might need to dedicate eight gigabytes to that you don't want that to affect your vanilla installation where you only need two nevertheless though let's go ahead and do overkill for vanilla and actually add four gigabytes of ram to this here so go ahead and hover over the version that you want to add more ram to in our case latest release but again this will work with mods as well Click the three dots over here on the right hand side, click on edit, it's going to open up the installations editor here, click on more options down at the bottom, and then down here at the beginning, right here at the beginning of Java arguments, you'll see XMX2G, so dash XMX2G, if you want to add more RAM, just change this to XMX. 4G. The number is the amount of gigabytes in RAM that you have. Now, if it doesn't say G after this, you can actually make it do so. So if it says like M or MB, that's megabytes. Go ahead and remove that and just change this to G, the way you're adding in gigs of RAM at a time instead of having to do the megabytes, which you can do, but I would just recommend using a round gigabyte number. So if you wanted to add 8 gigs to this, you would change this to XMX 8G. That's going to be 8 gigabytes. If you want to do 6, it would be 6G. But again, for vanilla Minecraft, it's overkill to do 4 gigabytes. So that's what we're going to run, because why not? I've got 64 gigabytes of RAM to spare, so yeah. <laughs> now let's just go ahead and click Save in the bottom right, and now this has been added. You might be wondering, though, how do you know? How do you know it's been added? Well, we need to play that version, so when we play that version, we can join into a game and actually very easily 
click and see what our RAM is. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll meet you in a single player world just to show you the RAM. So here we are in game. For some reason, I have a random mangrove leaf. I don't know what that's all about. But nevertheless, we can go ahead and hit F3 on our keyboard. And you might have to hit FN and F3. It kind of depends on the keyboard you have. So F3 or FN and F3. But nevertheless, up here in the top right, there's our RAM. Now, as you can see, Minecraft's actually using quite a bit. But oddly, if you turn this to two gigabytes of RAM, it would only ever use about a gig. Minecraft tries not to use more than half of the RAM you have allocated just to leave some room in case it does need more RAM for whatever reason. But as you can see right here in the top right, we're using about max three gigabytes of RAM before it kicks it out. And the total is the right number. So 4096 megabytes translates to four gigabytes of RAM dedicated. So there you go. That's how you can add more RAM to Minecraft and then how to see how much RAM you have dedicated. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to check out the video on your screen right now because it's how to install texture packs. I honestly don't love the look at a fight Minecraft here. And if you're like me, you might not either. That video will show you how to install a custom texture pack in 1.19.3. It goes over everything in depth. Nevertheless, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.